But what is, which one is this? This is cranberry, I think, no? Or, uh, or grapefruit. It is cranberry? Or, uh, uh, or grapefruit. Grapefruit, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. This is Bao Muhammad. Uh, he's uh, the manager of all our Palestinian and Arab uh, employees here in, uh, in this factory and in others. You know, it's an amazing experience to come to the SodaStream factory and to see Palestinians and Israelis working side by side. Uh, their common goal is simply to build a product, to bring to their families a very wonderful paycheck, and to work together in peace. They've done this. Uh, I would say that the employees of SodaStream in this factory do more in a day than all the diplomats from the United States, Israel, and the Palestinian Authority have done in the past 10 years. They should take a lesson from SodaStream. If there's going to be peace, it's going to come from a unified hope based on economic stability and based on the fact that there's good work and good pay and good opportunity equal for everybody. We are not a political organization, we're a business. And that's what we try to provide to our employees. So I can only just say thank you so much for the support that you showed us and really more than just us, this is a bigger story. This is about Israel and this is about speaking the truth in the face of all the, uh, all the untruths out there. So thank you. Well, I wish all of the people who have been critical, uh, not just of SodaStream, but critical of Israeli businesses, I wish they would come here. I wish they would see firsthand. Um, it's real easy to have a misperception of what uh, is taking place with employees. People come and see it. it. It destroys the narrative of unfair treatment and destroys the narrative of uh, not being a place where Palestinians are given a fair shake because here uh, they clearly are and you know, in fact they're paid so well I've uh, put in an application myself. <laughs> it is clear those people who want to boycott SodaStream are doing this to hurt Israel and to hurt Jews not because they want to help Arabs because by boycotting this place it is hurting Arabs and even hurting the Palestinian Authority. It's now become clear to me those who are fighting such uh, companies like SodaStream are those who have an enormous enmity toward Israel and the Jewish people, not a love of the Palestinian Arabs, because what they're doing is hurting the Palestinian Arabs. Uh, uh, it, it is not really hurting Israel very much at all. A lot of topics. We're here at SodaStream right now and seeing how incredible uh, the desert of uh, Israel has bloomed into an incredible uh, flowering garden. And SodaStream is one example of it, and how uh, coexistence can indeed uh, work. And uh, we're we're really thrilled to see uh, Yona Lloyd and the rest of the uh, management and how well they're pulling this all together. Um, and I think uh, it's incredible that the BDS movement doesn't come here and just give up and just say that they are defeated and lost because if they come here, which is really the facts on the ground, if they come here, they have no story. They're a big lie. And uh, if they would only face reality and come here, see for themselves what's going on, they would see that they're a big lie.